yeah, see, that's the, kinda, that's the alternator. Okay, the, it looks like the wires kind of cranked oh, up. Oh, never mind. It's, it's good. Okay. Yeah, see how it's still loose? I, mm -hmm. It's loose. I left good. it like that so that good. Good. when I wiggle, crawl underneath, so this motor mount is, uh, let's see here. See, we're there it's um it's in the hole all we're gonna do is lower it now and but before we do the final drop I want to make sure that all these lines in here mm -hmm. are not crimped like right. that AC line the cooling line the transmission line gotcha. okay let me see that side This, this is actually in look at him that mount see it right there yeah so it's in okay well, let's get underneath this thing okay here we are all right so we've let the motor down um, it's in it is in we just got a couple miscellaneous bolts that we got to figure out and one of them is this damn wiring tray right there um, once we can get that wiring tray all locked in then we can start finalizing everything else but yeah wire tray first and then there's one more bolt on the other side that's uh, a pain in the ass to get to but I guess when that time comes we'll figure it out so here's how, here's where we are for now one more step closer to having this beast back on the road. Do I have any junk in my pack? Nope. Really? Yeah, you're good. Wow. You had all kinds you of stuff on your You dirty because I'm over there scrubbing it. Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the Outlaw Performance Garage. Um, here with a quick one. We're going to do a quick uh, DSX tuning idler eliminator bracket. And this is meant for the high boosted horsepower cars that um, have problems with the tensioner and breaking belts. Um, I've probably went through maybe three or four. Um, this is uh, this is how you combat that situation. Um, definitely worth it. So check it out. Okay, so here's where we are now. We just got the water pump on, and I was about to install this. Um, DSX tuning uh, bracket with the idler pulley the hundred millimeter, but I just remembered we kept breaking uh, Belts with this idler pulley. We we're pushing too much boost with the uh, Cogs 2650. So this is DSX's new um, Idler pulley. I think it's called like an idler pulley eliminator. So um, let's check it out They it's been in a box for freaking forever. So this is what it looks like Look at that bad boy. <laughs> wow. Now, if that ain't solid as a rock, whoa. I don't know what is. So, this is going to replace that. So, this is uh, what it is. So, this is supposed to help us um, stop breaking belts. And it goes somewhere down here. Right in here somewhere. So, I'm going to um, install that. Now, I'm not going to do a video on it because... I don't want to bore you, so I'm just going to get right to it. The goods. I mean, look at that, man. This is some real high-quality stuff. Look at... Look how thick this thing is. She thick. Look at that. Just cut it right out of one piece of billet. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> so here's the phase we are at right now. This is the... Uh, 427 LSX Camaro y'all already know got the wrap taken off um, and uh, we floated ahead we floated these heads matter of fact my stock heads that are gonna go back on this stock motor here um, but now we have the fancy uh, heavy-duty Brodux heads from LME um, I don't know if you can see them down there there they go look at those things hiding those beauties, huh? You can't hide. Um, but they're Brodox LS7 heads, and they flow like crazy. 
uh, the motor by itself with no boost, no E85 on their engine dyno, not a wheel dyno. Before they sent it to me, made 700 horsepower. So, uh, yeah, this thing's a beast. I think last time it put down like 640. So, yeah, it made some, or 649, it made some power. So, uh, again, real quick, this is just going to be a quick, short install video on the DSX tuning idler bracket eliminator kit. So, uh, let's get going. All right, so, um, hmm, that thing is freaking sick. Anyways, uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, remove the bolts here. See here, so there's no instructions. They didn't give me nothing. They were just like, here you go, install it. So I'll put one bolt here, one bolt here, one bolt here. Um, I'm going to use blue Loctite just for the, the hell of it. Okay guys, so use some blue Loctite. But let's see, okay, they're all off. Here's your cover. Here's all these pulleys. One, two, and three. Um, and here's this guy. So let's see how it lines up down here. I think it's, let's see. Oh, I see it. Okay, right there, just like that. See how the holes, these holes right here, one, two, three, they're aligning just like that. So boom, right there. All right, so I can't hold the camera, so let me get the, the bolts in there. Okay, bracket is on with blue Loctite. There's no foot pounds of torque, so I just uh, did it to where it felt tight. With blue Loctite, should hold on. Held on last time, so. So now we're gonna go to installing these guys. And um, there's the cover. I am gonna put blue Loctite on them also. Just a little bit. Okay, guys, um, I just did a dry fit of this belt. Oh my God, the clearance on this freaking serpentine belt. Look at this thing. So it's on, right? But look how close it is in there. I mean, it is like, their engineering is freaking superb. Let me see if I can get a shot of that. But it's just 
right here it is just look at that look at that little gap off of that tent that um bracket i mean they nailed it on the money it's perfect there it is look at that Let's see here see there's just enough clearance in there but yeah we're rolling we are rolling guys so Just enough clearance. So that's it, guys. Okay, just for shits and giggles, I threw on the lower pulley. Holy moly, look at that thing. Look at that lower pulley. Whew. That thing ain't no joke. It's massive. Check this out, check it out. I got the lower pulley installed. Put the cover on the um, the idler pulleys. Man, wow. That's all I gotta say, wow. Look at that monster. That's the 30% lower, a 30% lower. Wow, phenomenal, so. I mean, it's coming together, guys. Look at those things. I don't know, coolies. Can you imagine when I throw this up there on this <laughs> with the freaking throttle body? Dude, it's gonna look retarded. Wow. I'm happy I'm juiced. Automatic transmission coming soon. Rosler transmission, TH400, man. We're gonna be slamming through them gears. Let's do it.